What's going on guys? Feels like it's been forever since I've been out here making a video for you guys. Um, got sick over Christmas, so I've been battling that, just finally getting over it. And then my wife and kids got sick too, so it's been pretty busy around here. Uh, just getting that nailed down. But, we made it back out here. And there's a lot of cool things that I did um, off camera too. Uh, one big thing, and I hope you guys notice right away, is we have an actual mic set up. Uh, if you don't know, and you probably don't, but I've used a GoPro Hero 7 Black uh, since the beginning of this, and while the audio gets the job done, it's not the best. I don't think any of them really work well, but anyway, anyway, we got a mic, um, got all the parts for it, and uh, hopefully you guys see a big difference. But that's not what today's about. Today, I actually, ordered some parts for this thing and I'm really excited to show you one uh, it's from far from stock and a lot of people don't know about this thing so what it is is an AC condenser cover and if anybody's ever been around a third gen knows these thing the AC condenser behind the grill catches hell you'll never find a straight one and this is a prime example it's dented up it's beat up paint stripping they just don't look good they don't they don't, they don't hold up because they get a lot of abuse. So this cover, as you guys will see when we take it out of the box, it makes a nice border around your AC condenser and uh, really cleans things up back there, especially once you get them painted or powder coated. So I'm going to get you guys set up and we're going to go over that. And then afterwards I want to tell you about some other stuff I'm really excited to do and some stuff that's going to happen pretty dang soon. Um, one more thing. If you guys remember, the garage is always a disaster, and it still is. I'm not saying it's not, but we have bench space. Look at that. We have somewhere to do something. Um, and I wouldn't have done it without needing to be out here with you guys making these videos for you. So if you like them, and I appreciate it if you do. If you like them, go down below, hit the like button. And if you're not, uh, please subscribe and maybe hit the little bell next to it. That way you get notifications when new videos go up. Because I don't think you're going to want to miss the stuff that's coming with this thing. Because if it goes the way I think it should, it's going to be pretty nuts. For me at least. I mean, we're talking... I'll tell you guys more later. But for now, I'm going to get you set up. Let's get into the box. Okay guys, so we got you set up, and here it is. This one came from far from stock. You can see that. Um, the lighting's not best, the best here, but we're going to fix that later. So, far from stock. Farfromstockstore.com, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I'm going to put their link on the screen down below, and I'm also going to put it in the description so you guys can click on it and take you right to their website. They have a lot of lot of cool stuff. Um, first through third, first through fourth gen. I'm sorry, stuff, and uh, mostly Dodge. I don't know if they do anything other than Dodge, but I do encourage you guys to go down below, check out their website. I know a lot of you guys, plus myself, um, watch these things on. <clears throat> let's say I, I use an Xbox and watch it on TV and I can't go to the description and click on things so I'll put the link on the screen so you guys can pause it type it in again I really encourage you guys to go check them out they're they're really <clears throat> really good and their uh, attention to detail is right up there they uh, they know their stuff so let's get into this this I already broke the tape to make things easier, but I haven't been into it. So what we have is our condenser cover, instructions, and mesh. Let's get the box out of here. So these covers are actually really, really cool. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. Get this thing flipped over. I'm gonna set this here. This is gonna go back here in the long run. Let me put it together. So, let me just show you this here. What we have here 
is an all laser cut, really nice. So yeah, far from stock. Really nice frame, really pretty piece, especially after you get it powder coated or painted. Nice ledge on top, you can do whatever you want up there, stickers, whatnot, but it, it just really, really cleans things up. And it's pretty, I mean, for what it is, it's it's a good thickness, it's it's just a good little piece. And this, the, the mesh, I set it back there, but it, it goes up there, you know, high and tight. And it just covers up the condensers that much more. Um, I still recommend putting a coat of like a semi-gloss or gloss black, not gloss, don't use gloss, semi-gloss or matte black paint be on the condenser before you put this together because um, it's just, it just added, you know, it just, it'll help out with, with keeping, keeping them black. But yeah, anyway, real nice piece. They gave you instructions. Not gonna show you the instructions too much, but they are yeah, they're straightforward. If you guys don't like reading instructions, I don't. This one I show them to you. It's it's cut and dry, straightforward. You know, they're not gonna they're not gonna lead you in a rabbit hole or in a rabbit hole. Of bullshit to get your cover on so uh, I again I just think it's it's a really good piece it was it's all laser cut it's all um, I wouldn't say perfect for anything but it's damn close and I'm really excited to get it on so I do have plans for this and the rest of the truck and that is why I am not jumping on painting this and uh, I think I'll talk about that in a few minutes. Kind of fill you guys in on what's rolling around in my head. But I just I can't I can't say this enough. I'm just I'm impressed with the piece, and I would just highly <coughs> highly recommend you guys going and checking out their website, seeing if they have something for you. Um, if this doesn't do it for you, if you don't have a third gen truck, um, also for their price point. Come on. If you if you look on their website on a normal day, the price point is not bad. If you subscribe to the newsletter or just keep on them, watch them, they go on sale pretty frequently and the price is just it's it's worth it. Let's just say that. It's affordable. So I'm gonna get this thing boxed back up so it doesn't rust. Cause I still have a week or two before, or maybe three even. I don't know until it gets its new color. And after that, we'll show you a video on how to put it on. And hope you like short videos because I think it's gonna be super easy, super simple. So I think we talked a while ago about traction bars and uh, getting the McGoy's bars off of this truck. And trying something different. Now, they're right here. These are the McGoy's bars that were on the truck. And if you can tell, I mean, it, they're still in really good shape. Um, there's nothing wrong with them. I have nothing against them. I just, I've, n I've always had a soft spot for the simple, run-of-the-mill, tube-style traction bars, which we are going to do. Uh, we're going to do that really soon. I think in the next week or two, you guys are going to see us start to build those and get those done. And I really hope you guys subscribe and follow along with those because they aren't going to be your standard 120 wall, small heim, you know, just normal cookie cutter traction bars. These things are going to be pretty overkill, which <laughs> if you know me at all, um, when I actually buckle down and do something, I try to do it a little above and beyond. Um, I don't want to tell you too much about the parts, but one, not going to be your standard 120 wall tubing. Two, they're going to be two inch diameter, outside diameter. So a bit bigger than your standard run of the mill kit. Uh, your Himes, I'm not going to tell you too much about those, but when you see them, you're going to agree they're a bit much, but they're going to last. I'm just really excited about it, and uh, I've been 
I've been thinking about powder coating them. Powder coating them in the condenser cover, and that's why that's still in the box. And it's going to stay in the box until it, I decide on what I'm doing. Uh, I've actually been talking to a powder coater recently that has a color, let's say a color combination, just to keep you guys guessing, that uh, is really, really going to stand out. Um, and we can go over that later too, once we get closer to powder coating, and I might even try to take you guys over there and show you, but um, I had a color in mind, but we killed that idea. This one's way, way crazier. So, that's pretty much all I have right now. Um, the condenser cover, the traction bars, the McGoy's bars are not going back on the truck and I'm not keeping them. I'm actually going to be posting them for sale. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, you'll know the area if you... Anyway. They're going to be posted soon. And... What else? I don't really have any other big plans right now. Um, at least none that I want to talk about. I do have some other things rolling around in my head on what I can do to bring you guys some really cool how-to you know, projects. So be on the lookout for that. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up here. I just want to get out here and show you that condenser cover. I think that thing is going to be flipping sweet. I cannot wait to get that on the truck. Um, between that and the traction bars, I think we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have quite the difference here on this truck. And the only thing I'm gonna have to do afterwards is figure out what I'm gonna do with the steps, well, and everything else. I mean, I'm not gonna kid anybody. I can't leave anything alone. So I'm gonna wrap this up for now. Uh, if you liked it. I've said it multiple times this video. I've probably said it too much. If you liked it, go down below, hit the like button. If you aren't already, subscribe and follow this because I, I'm i going to try to do some really cool stuff and I want to bring you guys along and show you the process. Um, anyway, thank you and we'll see you on the next one.